last year when the pandemic hit? Did you freak out and have to run to the grocery store and stock up on whatever was left in the store? Were you one of the ones that were just putting whatever you could in your cart, trying to find the last can of SpaghettiOs and the last pack of toilet paper? Did you just get scared to death when the cyber attack hit and the gas stations were running out of fuel in certain parts of this country, running low? Did you freak out? Did you run to the store and fill up your car? Did you go out and buy gas cans and fill them up and, and store them? Did you do it safely? These are some of the questions that we're going to talk about today on Survival Preparedness for Beginners, where we thrive to survive and we do it the right way. So thank you for joining me again for a video on our survivalness and what we need to do. If you were part of any of those situations, we had the huge ice storm just this past winter in Texas, shut them down for weeks. People were without power, no water, no anything for weeks on end, months, busted water pipes, no way to cook, no way to get food. Those are all these different scenarios. We're coming into hurricane season. We don't know exactly what to expect. Everything is changing as we evolve in this world. Everything is just going haywire, if you want my opinion. Why somebody wouldn't want to be prepped and ready is just beyond me. Maybe you have a fear of what people will think of you. Maybe you have a fear of what your family will think if you tell them that you're going to start prepping. You want to put away some food. You want to put away emergency supplies. You want to buy some gear so that you know how to use it in a timely manner and make sure that you can cook and survive in a situation, any situation that may arouse, may come along. I can guarantee that will come along. When you look at all the turmoil and everything that's going on in the Middle East, all right, is that the beginning of the next World War III? The real World War III. Those two countries have been fighting for thousands of years. It's nothing new. Only now it's getting more deadly since they're using bombs and bombs and bombs. And one bombs one, then the other one bombs back. There's no end in sight in that particular situation. Hopefully there will be, but I don't think there'll ever be peace on that strip of land. You know, it's something that we don't have to deal with in this country. We, yes, we have a lot of civil unrest. Yes, we do have a lot of things that do happen. We, we have our own issues that we have to deal with in this country. Good, bad, and ugly. You may not like some of the things that go on. You may support some of the things that go on. That is all your given right to choose in what you believe, what you want to back, what you want to really involve yourself in. But as a prepper, you always want to throw red flags up. You always want to be cautious on what you intend and what you engage in. You always want to make sure that you're always trying to stay one step ahead of what is going on. You want to try to read between the lines. You want to really try and make a difference in your own life and your family's. You want to show that you are prepared. You are ready. And some people may think that, yes, you may be crazy. They may think you're stupid for doing what you're doing. But then again, they're the ones that are having to run out and go to the store and buy up products at the very last minute in the middle of some unseen, unplanned, and unforgiving situation. You see, this is just one of those areas where you just don't want to be in. You want to make sure that you are prepped and you are ready. That's why here on Survival Preparedness, we thrive to survive. We as a community 
And I think we have a great community. We look out for each other. We're always giving tips. We're always telling people what we do, what we see, what things are going on in our areas. We try to communicate through the lovely internet. You know, the internet is a beautiful thing. It can also be our worst enemy, AKA the cyber attacks that we just had, which are only gonna get worse. I heard on the news today where they said that this group supposedly closed down and uh, went away. If you really believe everything that you listen to in the media, you really do have a lot of learning to do because they're only going to tell you what they think you need to know. We're not always going to get the full picture if you understand what I'm saying. So some quick things here. One way to avoid this situation is to start prepping. Start preparing. Make a plan. Use a planner. Use one of these. Get yourself a planner, a notebook, anything. I've talked about this I don't know how many times and I keep pushing it. I know some people are like, yes, we've heard this before and everything else. But people really need to have a plan. And if you don't want to do it this way and you are one of these technological people that does everything with your little phone, then use it. Just make sure that you have a battery backup, at least for your phone, so that you can charge it in an emergency type situation and access all the information that you've loaded into your phone. Whereas in this requires no power except for you to flip the page to the designated area that you need to know at that point in time. So for an emergency situation, this is what you need. I would use this as a backup. Now, once you do all that, basically you make a plan, you start prepping. Take $10, $15 a week and start prepping. Start putting food away. Do it a little bit at a time. Even if on your tight budget, I'm sure you can find a way to make that 10 or $15 a week and start building your preps. You see, you'd, in the end, you really don't want to be caught in a catch-22. You don't want to be caught where you don't have the supplies you need to get through whatever situation has just popped up, whatever rolled around, whatever next cyber attack all of a sudden hits and you're caught off guard, whatever war may be started. You see, we have to prep for the unknown and that's the reason why we do that. That's the reason why you want to prep because you don't want to be caught in a catch 22 where you're left standing in the store looking around and there's nothing there. It's not a good feeling folks. And then you're stuck with going home empty handed. And then you're going to feel as you're walking out of the store, you will have a feeling of guilt. You'll feel, have a feeling that you let your family down. And those are things that you just don't want to do. Now, I hope everybody is out there has started prepping. We've learned a lot. We got caught with the pandemic, took everybody by storm. A lot of us were prepped. We didn't have to worry about food. There's a lot of people that weren't. And I think there was more people that weren't prepped and ready than was. Unfortunately, but that's the way society is. Because everybody is just so worried about what the other person thinks. And once we get past that whole 
what are they going to think thing, your life will get a lot easier. Because when the storm rolls into town, you'll be safe and sound in your home while everybody else is out there fending for themselves and trying to get the last crumbs that are left in the stores. Being prepared is part of your everyday life as a prepper. You're always seeking out new ideas. You're always seeking out new things to do. You're always seeking out good deals to buy and put up in your preps. You're always thinking ahead and that's what a good prepper does. So put it in the comments below. What's the number one thing that you prep for? And what is the number one prep you have in your home? So put it in the comments below. Let's all find out. And we all can learn a little bit about something. And if people have questions and you're on my channel here in this community, if you have questions, put them out there. If I don't answer you right away, because of my work schedule. There's a lot of people out there that will. There's a lot of people that will chime in and give you information and everything else. And there's nothing wrong with that. This isn't my channel. This is our channel. And we're growing together and that's how it's gonna be. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Keep thriving to survive, folks. And until next time, I will catch all of you on the flip side.